Residents and communities across our area are anxiously waiting for the floodwaters to recede, demanding answers as to why their neighborhoods are underwater, while others have already dried out. In one Loxahatchee neighborhood, there is no way in, no way out. The roads, they remain impassable, with some homes just inches from the floodwaters. News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran kicks off our team coverage of this historic flood from the Deer Run residential community. Dan. Well, Kelly, the residents here are actually relieved because at least for now, the rain has come to a stop. Take a look around me, though. This is the entrance way to their community. Mud everywhere. And if you take a look back there, it's actually much worse inside their community. Uh, in some places, under inches of water, under feet of water in other locales. So tonight, those residents are taking measures into their own hands. The residents of Deer Run Residential Community in Loxahatchee are hoping that when they wake up tomorrow, all this water will be gone. About knee deep. Knee deep. Knee deep. Chopper 5 found 14-year-old John Morrow waiting in the water outside of his home. I was just playing fish with my dog. While some areas of Palm Beach County are seeing serious but isolated flooding, Deer Run's flooding seems far-reaching. I caught up with Moro and his family, who took me for a tour on this. A swamp buggy. A buggy it can get you anywhere, basically, where you need to go. In the woods or in, like, five feet of water, anywhere. And he's certainly right about that. And this is one of the only ways you can actually see all the flooding out in this part of the county. Now Deer Run residents and their homeowners association are gearing up to bring these water levels down. With permission from the South Florida Water Management District, they've rented this secondary pump to take over for their own primary pump, which was overwhelmed. Too much rain too quickly. There's no way the system could ever handle it. They're also dumping dirt, trying to fortify these saturated grounds. Nearby communities like Fox Trail are also under siege and underwater. More residents hoping to find fixes to their own flooding problems. You're taking matters into your own hands. Do you think it'll work? I hope it works. Um, it can't get worse. Uh, if it does get worse, we're going to be in big trouble. Uh, back out here live, you're taking a look at one of those barriers, some fresh dirt that the, the people here actually put right there to hopefully slow the flow. They know that it won't last for very long. They just hope it lasts long enough to have, before some of these uh, waters really do begin to recede. They hope that happens over the next couple of days. Reporting live in Loxahatchee tonight, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.